chapter 2, lesson 3. Addition with regrouping in the tense. So now it becomes a little bit more challenging. We need to again remind our kids, mental math, horizontal, computational math, vertical. We need to remind them the pairings, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. Okay, so page 37 is where our lesson will be from. When adding, this they want you to do mentally. So in essence, we also need to remember that outside of these pairings, we also have pairings of 10 and 9, 90, 20 and 80, 30 and 70, 40 and 60, and 50 and 50. These make up 100. Therefore, in this problem, they want us to split 227 plus 20. Which means if we add these two together, that's 100. So that's 227 plus 100. Which makes it 337. Similarly, here's a 70. It wants us to split this as 519 so that we can get the 30 to add up to 100. So this is 519 plus 100 makes it 619. Now, this is our mental math computation, which means when we get to the computational math, this is 463 plus 186. So the lesson says regrouping in the tens. Therefore, you shouldn't regroup in the ones. So this is simple addition. 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, I'm going to take it here. This is 6 plus 8. So again, for consistency, we want to start with an 8. We need two more to get to 10. So that means we have an extra 4, which makes this 14. And we carry. Okay, so that's 4 plus 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 1 is 6. And finally, 772 added with 142. The bigger one is on top, 772 plus 142. So which means the ones is no regrouping. We take this is 7 plus 4. So we start with a 7, regrouped, meaning we add the 7, we need a 3, we have an extra 1, which makes it 11. So that would be 11. Starting with a bigger number, we add 8 plus 1 is 9, which makes it 914. So our lesson is we need to remind our kids the pairings. We need to remind them as well, not just the tens that pairs up to tens. We also need the pairings to add up to 100. That concludes Chapter 2, Lesson 3. See you in the next lesson.